what the face say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. Oh, <laughs> my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, he will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning, he will have to door. May your hollow gods keep you, mortal. I am called Eri. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. I wandered the forest for many seasons, listening to lore stones of the great ballads. Before that, I dwelled in the gardens of Issa. I prefer the quiet of this village, the mirth of the witless. We are kin to the seasons and cycles of all life, to new life and perpetual growth. Mortals may view the warmth of the petals and smell the beauty of a newborn bud, but only Fae know the strength of the roots beneath the surface. Feyland? Yes, I've heard these words before, but do not understand their meaning. There are only Fey, and there is only land. I do find all main sentiments so charming. I cannot reveal much. The gardens are the jewel of the summer court, a wonder beheld by few mortals. It is located far east of here in a wood so thick it would devour all but those who knew its secrets. Do not pursue such mysteries, mortal. They are not for you. I adore every sad soul in the village, even stubborn Herc with his tender heart and drunken old Arnick. The widow fascinates me. She has no idea that her lover is dead. I watch them from my perch, hoping to learn the meaning behind their pursuits and passions. If I could, I would grant each of them an eternity. Alas, I cannot. They contain memories, 
Great moments, ideas, songs and inspirations. The Fae do not record their words in ink or on paper. Ink fades, paper crumbles. Lore stones mark where our kind has made a lasting impression, where the season slowed to take note of glory on a grand scale. I find them so interesting, from their vestments to their odd habits and demeanors. Just yesterday I saw a monk from the Almain mission sneaking through the underbrush. Strange creatures you are. Strange, but glorious. I feel them near, flitting through the western woods like shafts of shadow in the sunlight. What could have brought them here, I wonder? The Tuatha do not trouble themselves with easy prey. If they prowl these woods, it is for worthy quarry. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. All of us are at the mercy of the changing seasons, mortal and fey alike. If it is one's time to pass into the Great Cycle, then we must not protest. The passing is keeping with autumn, and is as natural as the eventual rebirth. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. Farewell.
of the essence. That's never been more true. Do you really think I'm able to part with anything, much less one of my finest mixtures? This is a place of research. There is no charity. I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Time is of the essence. That's never been more true. Goodbye. What is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fae and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fae. We'll be enemies. She is a member of the House of Ballads, the legendary court of Fae heroes. They are warriors without equal, with centuries of glory to the names. If one of their own was killed by a mortal, the House of Ballads and its king would bring a fierce vengeance upon us. Gorhart would be a ruin by day's end. I'm not sure yet, but this is bad. She's Fae. Even worse, she's a knight in the House of Ballads. Fae don't kill their own, so it must have been someone in Gorhart. If the House of Ballads learns of this, the king will burn Gorhart to the ground. They see all mortals as invaders. We could go to the Warsworn and get an oath of protection, but that would require payment. We mustn't cover this up. But who do we tell? You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. All I know is what I learned in my youth. The heroism of King Wenson and his court of enchantments. My grand spoke of them nightly as she sat by my bedside. For all I know, the House of Ballads is nothing more than myth. But I have a feeling that it exists somewhere out in the deep mists of the Feylands. Once they fought the Beasts of Chaos, marching to glory for many victories. Sadly, they fell, as all great men do. Now they're nothing more than hired blades. Anyone can earn their allegiance with a few pieces of gold. It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolvin. The Feylands are a wicked place, crawling with creatures so strange you'll assume you're dreaming. Farewell. Need supplies? Try the corpse.
Embrace the summer manifests as an immortal fay. You know her, him, it as the resplendent. <laughs> you mortals, you <laughs> of your people's memory, you fall to pieces. Expert, use your legend of monster evidence. Come, listen to a tale of Issa and Own, the God Storm, the Withering War. Ugh, finally. Someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. There's need for an adventurer such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land, south of here. Pellick's brainchild, if you can believe it. I don't share his optimism about the loot we'll find, but if we get only a fraction of it... Made a living pillaging the ruins of old places like Talarain. Robbing the dead tastes better than stealing from the living. I'm a good enough thief. Never once been caught. Still have all my fingers, or didn't you notice? The name's enough to put most explorers off. Bugger them, I say. Just less competition. Besides, what's in a name? I spent two years trying to make a fortune in a land called the Painted Orsks. Never did find out what an orsk was. Ah. Huh. Clever and strong, I see. It's as I said, we're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, seek Helic Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Edmere. Well, I know there aren't much women way out here, but let's stop all the attention, shall we? It's a touch embarrassing. Fine. No farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sacral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Halang the White prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this our time of greatest need. 
It is to fill an unoccupied seat in the House of Balance. This is not a mortal concern. If Hallam learns I told you, he may see to it that I am banned from the Tenet. I did not fear them in previous seasons. They were our allies, as important to us as the Autumn is to spring. But the Tuatha have upset the balance. I am known as the Squire. It is my duty to assist the Chancellor of the House of Ballads in all of his many endeavors. Hallam treats me well, and it is an honor to serve. The mortals in Gorhart believe they have established a permanent settlement, but they are sadly mistaken. Those homes will crumble. Those graves will multiply. Trees may be cut down, vines stripped away, but the forest will return, and it will not suffer the footsteps of men. Neither will the Fae. The storyteller leads us all in the telling of the great songs of the Summer Court. He administers our house, and serves our great knights in the court of enchantments. Only the greatest heroes of the summer may be counted among the court of enchantments. Gwenson, Belmaid, Ferrara, Olaine, Eirmer, and Creth. Their glory unites all fade in a common narrative. It is one of the few things our people share. The House of Ballads is home to the Court of Enchantments, where our heroes congregate and train before performing the feats that made them legends. There are three main structures on the grounds. The Court of Enchantments itself features the Wall of Saga, which depicts the most noteworthy songs in our canon. The Hall of Accolades is where the finest fae crafters offer their services. Trainers can be found in the Summer Sanctuary, where we go when seeking enlightenment. He was one of our most beloved knights, a balanced treasure. I can't bear to think of him dead, now across the sea. A warrior for our savage cousins held into a court. This new breed of mad fae has seized the Court of Winter in its grip. There can only be a summer and a winter. There is no other third order if we crave balance. No doubt you speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement, to avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? Attacked, you say? Your kind is too timid to even speak to us, and now you're trying to kill us. I do not understand it. However, your honesty is appreciated. Tell the people of Gorhart that they have nothing to fear from us. We mean them no ill will, as long as they leave the forest undisturbed as they found it. Goodbye. Greetings. You made it. You're back. I was so worried that the Fae had taken out the revenge on you. As usual, I was wrong. The Fae has recovered, thanks to your potion. In fact, she wishes to stay in the village for the next several weeks as she recovers. Gorehart will be a new community, a place of compassion, and it's thanks to you. Please, take my sword and buckler. 
They will serve you well, as they have served me. I believe they call it Shield Ring. A recruitment stop for those who wish to march westward to war. Follow the road. You'll see its towers over the trees in Yolven. Bye now. Greetings, stranger. I understand that you are to thank for my longevity. I'm in your debt. Our people have too long stood apart. Perhaps together we can change that. My interest in humans brought me to the boundaries of your village, and that led to my unfortunate injuries. I plan to stay here, to learn. Gorhart is not simply a village. It is a seed. Within its heart and shell exists all of what makes humanity wonderful and all that makes it terrible. They are the greatest of us, lords and ladies of the telling. But I was never bound for glory in their ranks. I know that now. By call Fay, I will take what I've learned from their experience and light the darkest wood. My story is their story, for the telling belongs to all of us. I serve the House of Ballads as a squire, but I've not been home for almost a full season. They will be expecting me. It's busy today. Exciting, isn't it? A fae living in the village like an ordinary person? Some excitement for a change. Don't be a stranger. Behave yourself. When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fates together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So? Are you foolish or just stupid? Not much is known about the fabled beings of order, 
They abandoned this world long ago, leaving ruins such as this as a testament to their glory. I hope that by spreading tales of spirits and boogeymen, they could prevent the curious villagers from exploring too deeply. One can always hope. I'm skilled in alchemy, but it has never brought me riches or respect. The only way I will ever find glory in this life is as part of the Red Legion. She, like so many others in Goreheart, is prone to ignorance. She sees what she wants to see. I am her dutiful apprentice, and she is the wise mentor. Her whole life is a lie, she tells herself. They're very careful about who they allow into their ranks, and they were resistant about my membership at first. At least until I told them about Nanny. Her discovery will fetch a high price in Rithir. Could even decide this misbegotten war. Still, that is no concern of mine. I simply want to be one of the Red. Oh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? I'm sorry.
hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home for anyone.
in combat fair, Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near.
my life without him knowing well then I'll deal with that I think there's something to be said for it I think it's noble yeah I could tell someone but that's just asking for praise what makes it an act of kindness is that nobody knows or at least that he doesn't know I let him have the glory no one has to know his arrow missed he saved the town he's a hero Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nani Hamri. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. They seem so eager to aid me in my work that I've failed to pursue the proper references. Yes, I have only myself to blame for this catastrophe. How was I to know he was a scout and a thief? His interest in alchemy appeared genuine. Our friendship was that too an act. Farewell. Stay close to the village. any trouble. Welcome. 